Good morning, everybody. This is Miss Shirley from Learn and Play Montessori School. Happy Friday to all of you. Um, I would like to say good morning to all our parents, to all the children, and to all um, our friends who are watching us today. Um, parents, please, if you can, um, you know, um, write a shout out on the comment section on our Facebook. So um, just say hi to your um, hi to the teachers um, um, and anything that you would like to give us. Please just write any comment. And also, um, if there's anybody, any of the kids celebrating their birthday today, you can also please write it down so we can, you know, greet them today on their birthday. Um, and yeah, again, welcome to another live session for our 18 months old to 3 years old. We are so happy to be here. And um, again, today is, a, today is a special day again. Today is a, a new day again. So please join us as we do our session. Um, so... Um, for now, um, Miss um, Rania will be joining us for this live session, and um, Miss Rania will be doing the phonics for us. Thank you. Good morning, friends. Are we ready for the phonics song? Do you know these letter sounds? Do you know these letter sounds? They will help you. Learn to read, they will help you learn to read. Apple, apple, ah, ah, ah. Apple, apple, ah, ah, ah. Baby, baby, ba, ba, ba. Baby, baby, ba, ba, ba. Cookie, cookie, ka, ka. Cookie, cookie, ka, ka, ka. Dolly, dolly, da, da, da. Dolly, dolly, da, da, da. Elbow, elbow, eh, eh, eh. Elbow, elbow, eh, eh, eh. Flower, flower, flower. Garden, garden, go, go, go. Garden, garden, go, go, go. Hammer, hammer, ha, ha, ha. Hammer, hammer, ha, ha, ha. Igloo, igloo, i, i, i. Igloo, igloo, i, i, i. Jelly, jelly, ja, ja, ja. Jelly, jelly, ja, ja, ja. Kitten, kitten, ka, ka, ka. Kitten, kitten, ka, ka, ka. Lion, lion, ooh, ooh, ooh. Lion, lion, ooh, ooh, ooh. Monkey, monkey. Vacuum, 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 vacuum
seven okay one two three four five six seven there are seven days there are seven days there are seven days in a week there are seven days there are seven days there are seven days in a week Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, why did we surely clap on Friday? It's because it is Friday today. Today is Friday. And Friday begins with what letter? F. And F makes what sound? Good job. Now, if today is Friday, what was yesterday? Yesterday was Thursday. And if today is Friday, what will be tomorrow? Tomorrow will be Saturday. Good job, my friends. Now, can we sing our Days of the Week song in Spanish? Ready? Domingo, lunes, Martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado. Okay, let's say it again. Sunday is domingo. Monday is lunes. Tuesday is martes. Wednesday is miércoles. Thursday is jueves. Friday is viernes. And Saturday is sábado. Now, who can tell us how many months there are in a year? Good job. There are 12 months in a year. And are you ready to sing our month of the year song? Okay, ready? There are 12 months. There are 12 months. There are 12 months in a year. There are 12 months. There are 12 months. There are 12 months in a year. January, February, March and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, and December. These are the months of the year. Okay, now let's say it in Spanish, okay? Let's say our months of the year in Spanish. January, Enero. February, Febrero. March, Marzo. April, Abril, May, Mayo, June, Junio, July, Julio, August, Agosto, September, Septiembre, October, Octubre, November, Noviembre, and December is Diciembre. Good job. And we are in the month of what again? We are in the month of April. And April is what again in Spanish? Abril. Good job. Now, let's count how many days have gone by in the month of April. Okay, please count with me, friends. And we'll count also in Spanish, okay? One, uno. Two, 
Dos. Three. Tres. Four. Cuatro. Five. Cinco. Six. Seis. Seven. Siete. Eight. Ocho. Nine. Nueve. Ten. Diez. Eleven. Once. Twelve. Doce. Thirteen. Trece. Fourteen. Catorce. Fifteen. Quince. Sixteen. Dieciséis. So, sixteen days or dieciséis days have gone by in the month of April or Abril. What number comes after sixteen? Seventeen. And how do we say seventeen in Spanish? Diecisiete. Okay? So, what is the day today, friends? Today is Friday, April 17th, and the year is 2020. Good job. Now, let's see what our weather is today. Can, let me see, Miss Shirley is looking at the window right now. Okay, it is, what day is it today? What, what's the weather today, friends? Today is sunny day. Today is sunny day. Today is sunny day. That's what it is today. Today is sunny day. Today is sunny day. That's what it is today. Sunny day. Sunny day. That's what it is today. Okay. Thank you for joining me, friends, doing the calendar. And now, may I call on Miss Rania to do our presentation about shapes. Okay? Miss Rania. Thank you. First, I need to get my up. One, two, close to my body. And walking feet, friends, okay? I put my rug on the floor. And I'm gonna get my Today, friends, I'm gonna present to you a shape. Is Miss Rania a shape? No, Miss Rania is a person. Is red a shape? No, red is a color. Is a square a shape? Yeah. Okay, what do we see here? This is a square shape and it has the same, see, size, four sides. We have one, two, three, four. And notice on these sides, they are the same length, right? And it has four corners one two three four very good let's see if we can make a square if you look at like four sticks the same size see they are the same size we can make a square we can put one top and this side and this side what did i make friends i made a square Okay, let's think, what comes in a square shape? A box, good job. Might be a paper, if it's the same size. And maybe a window, a square. Okay, friends, can I teach you a song about a square? Okay. This shape has four same size, four same size, four same size. This shape has four same size and it has four corners too. This shape is called the square, called the square, called the square. This shape is called the square, I just want to tell you. Okay, friends. Now we need to paste some squares inside. Okay, let me see. I don't have a glue stick. Thank you, Miss Shirley. You're welcome. So first, I'm going to put some glue. Let's see how many squares do we have. We have one, two, three, four squares. Okay, let's glue the squares. So I have one here, and you can put it any order you want. And one maybe here. And one here and one here 
and this is my square shape what shape is this friends this is a square shape and how many sides does it have good job four let's count one two three four and they are the same size okay friends thank you and now we're gonna get ready for the next presentation Michelle, do you need the rug? Yes, please, Miss Rania. Okay, and remember, friends, when we hold the tray, one, two, close to my body. Thank you, friends. Hi again, friends. Miss Shirley here. So today, I am going to introduce to you the number four. Number is this again, friends? Four. Now, can we count four with our fingers? One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's count how many flowers are here. One, two, three, four. Number four. Can we clap four times? One, two, three, four. Good job, friends. Now, I have number four here, okay? So what I'm gonna do with my number four is, again, friends, you can color this with any color you want, and um, I'm going to stick four things beside number four but let's see what that is okay miss rana can i borrow the glue again please thank you okay i have tulip here thank you miss rania i have tulip why tulip okay now that we are in the season of spring and you know what happens during spring season a lot of flowers bloom right beautiful flowers colorful flowers bloom everywhere right and then you see a lot of birds flying in the sky but miss shirley miss shirley's favorite flower is a tulip do you have a favorite flower okay now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to stick four tulips right next to my number four let's count my tulips again i have one two, three, four. Okay. I need a glue. I have my glue stick here. So one, two, three, four. You can do anything you want, friends, with your number four. You can color it. You can paint it. You can put something on it like a collage or anything. You can paste anything. But I'm going to leave my number four blank because you can do whatever you want with number four. But I'm going to stick four tulips right next to it, okay? So count again. One. Two. Three. Four. Four. One, two, three, four. I have four tulips here. Okay, friends, I'm going to teach you a new song about tulips. And Miss Shirley just found this yesterday on YouTube. It's a very nice song, okay? Now, let's see. I hope you sing with me, okay? Please sing with me. I know it's a new song, but let's sing it together, okay? Follow after me. Four little tulip bulbs about to sprout. The first one said, I think I'm coming out. The second one said, oh, what a lovely day. The third one said, I'll be soon up soon to play. The fourth one said, what color will I be? And up they grew up right up to the sky. And let's count them together. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, ready? Four little tulip bulbs about to sprout. The first one said, I think I'm coming out. The second one said, oh, what a lovely day. The third one said, I'll be soon up to play. The fourth one said, what color will I be? 
Then they grew up into the sky and let's count them together. One, two, three, four. Good job, friends. Okay, thank you for doing number four with me. And now, Miss Raj is doing a presentation about from language, okay? Thank you. Miss Rania, you need a rug? Yes, please. Okay, now let me put my job away. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Shirley. You're welcome. One, two. Hey friends, today I'm going to present a job from the language area. Who can tell me what letter is this? This is letter T. What sound does it make? T, T, T. Can I show you how do we trace it? Put your hands and two fingers, top to bottom, left to right. Again, top to bottom, left to right. T. Okay, let's see. What start with letter T? Hmm. Do you have toys at home? Toys start with letter T. T, -t toys. Okay, maybe in your toys you can find a tiger. Maybe you have a tiger at home. Tiger start with letter T. Very good. What else start with letter T? Hmm. Maybe a train. Train, very good. And maybe a turtle. Turtle start with letter T. And toes. Can you point to your toes? Very good. Tummy. Can you point to your tummy? Tummy start with letter T. And teeth. Teeth start with letter T. And tongue. I don't want to stick my tongue out. But tongue start with letter T. What else start with letter T? Hmm. T -t Tissue start with letter T. Very good. Okay. And I'm going to show you. Oh, we have more here. Truck. I bet my friends have some trucks at home also. Toys. Turtle. Train. Tiger. Tub. And top. These are words that start with letter T. Very good. Okay, friends. And again, we're going to trace our letter T. Do you remember how do we trace it, friend? Two fingers. Top to bottom. Left to right. Top to bottom. Left to right. Today, I'm going to stamp. This is a sample of letter T. And I'm going to put some paint. A little bit dry. Okay, and I'm gonna stamp it. Okay, hold it with three fingers and stamp and press. Pull up and stamp. Good job. Very good. And friends, if you want these worksheets, remember they are uploaded in our remote learning website, okay? You can find them there. And you can do whatever activity you want. Okay, friends? Now, I'm done with my activity here. But I'm going to teach you a song start with letter T today. And it's about a turtle. This tiny turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. Okay, let me tell you the words first. It says, I had a little turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water and used up all the soap. Now he's in his bed with a bubble in his throat. Okay, can we sing it together? I had a little turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water 
and used up all the soap. Now he's in his bed with a bubble in his throat. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Bubble, 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 pop. Again, I had a little turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water and used up all the soap. Now he's in his bed with a bubble in his throat. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Bubble, 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 pop. Good job. And parents, you can find this song on YouTube also. It's called, I had a little turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. And turtle start with letter T. Tiny start with letter T. Tiny Tim start with letter T. Tap start with letter T. So you can find lots of things start with letter T. And after this activity, also when you go around the house, if you play with something or if you see something start with letter T, you can point it out and you can ask mommy and daddy and you can tell them this start with letter T. Okay, friends? Okay, let's see if Miss Shirley is ready for the next presentation. Yes, Miss Rania, I am so ready. And Miss Rania, Toby from Danville also starts with the letter T. Hi, Toby. Okay, now I am going to read you a story about a blue truck. T, T, truck. Truck starts with the letter T. Okay? It's story time. It's story time. We are glad that it's story time. Sit down and listen and open your eyes. Sit down and listen and give a big smile. It's story time. It's story time. We are glad that it's story time. Our story for today is about the little blue truck leads the way. Horn went beep beep. Engine purred, friendliest sounds you ever heard. There's the blue truck. Little blue truck rolled into the city. Beep, beep, beep. Isn't it pretty? Look, look how nice the city is. And would you like to hear the sound of the truck again? Beep, beep, beep. Towering buildings, look at all these tall buildings that you can find in the city. Scrape the sky, beep, said Blue. The city is high. Look at all the nice tall buildings in the city. Zoom, roared trucks down the avenue. The city is fast, said Little Blue. Uh-oh, look at all these cars that are driving what? That are speeding fast, look. They're, they're driving, all these cars are so fast, driving so fast in the city. Shove on, shorty, yelled a double-decker bus with big red letter. Rides are us. Uh-oh, please don't drive too fast. Is it okay, friends, to drive fast? Mm-mm, not that fast, right? A grocery truck gave his horn a blast. Move it, bud. I'm first, you're last. No, thank you. That's not okay. We don't race, right? It's not, it's not okay to race, especially in the city because there's a lot of cars in the city. Okay? Wee! Went a siren. Uh, went a siren. Coming through. Busy police car. Things to do. Uh-oh. Now there's a police car. Swish, swash, swish. Went a big street sweeper, hollering, Hey, better move, little beeper. Mm -mm, excuse me, small truck. I have to go. Can I pass through? Said the big street sweeper. Make way, yelled a limousine, the longest car you've ever seen. Have you seen a limousine, friend? Yes, it's a long car. It's a very long car. I've got his honor, the mayor inside. I'm important. Move aside. Mm -mm, no, thank you, limousine. You still have to wait. You have to be in line. Cars and trucks were all in a tangle. Everyone started to shout and wrangle. Uh-oh, look at all these cars, friend. On the road, it's very traffic, huh? It's not moving. Uproar the taxi. Screech! 
When the brakes stop, yelled Blue. For goodness sakes, you might be fast and I might be slow, but one at a time and the way to go. Yes, that's right. One at a time, please. Me first, said the limo, all puffed with pride. Then he gave a cuff and his engine died. He was stuck right there with a mayor inside. Beep, said Blue, would you like a ride? Everybody watching gave a shout when the door swung open and the mayor stepped out. See, there's the mayor inside the limousine. His honor climbed right up on Blue and gave a speech, the way mayors do. My friends, he said, what wonderful luck, this good advice from a little blue truck. One at a time is what we'll do, so single file, folks, follow Blue. Right? See, because the blue truck is doing a good job. He's waiting in line. He's not rushing, right? Trucks and buses got in line with vans and taxis, and it all went fine. A taxi let a van go past. The double-decker bus said, I'll go last. Oh, good job, friends. A marching band joined the big parade. Boom! When the drums and the trumpets played. They rolled along the avenue and everyone waved to Little Blue. Good job, Little Blue! Good job! They clapped their hands and yelled, Hooray! For the Little Blue truck who led the way. See? Look at the little... Now they're following the blue truck because the blue truck is doing a good job, right? The end. See, friends, that's how we do, right? We have to take turns. You don't have to rush. Like all of you, if you are lining up, not everybody has to be the first in the line all the time, right? We take turns and we always have to wait, right? We don't rush. We don't run because if we do run, when you're in line, what's going to happen? You might get hurt, right? So something like this too, if they're rushing, if they want to, um, to speed up, then they might get hurt. Or they might get into an accident, right? So we have to be very careful all the time. We have to slow down all the time, okay? Thank you, friends, for joining me. And I hope you like my story. Okay, so now, friends, our um, live session for our eight and a half to three-year-olds um, is over. I hope you enjoyed our show. I hope you enjoyed our session for today. And all the um, all the worksheets that um, um, that are that we do this week, they're all uploaded in our website. So please go check it out, and please don't um, forget to like our Facebook page. Um, so thank you again for joining us today. Um, hope you enjoy um, our session for today. Have a happy Friday, and um, again, thank you again for all our frontliners who has you know who um, continued to you know give us help okay so now please walk with me as we go to the next classroom for miss alice's session for our three to four and a half year olds okay follow me please this way hi miss alice are you ready hi miss shirley of course i am hi my friends Let's say thank you to Miss Shirley and Miss Rania for an amazing Thank you, live friends, for joining session. us today. Okay, so hi, my friends. Uh, let's do a shout out to all my friends at Danville. Hi, my friends from Danville. How about my friends from Irvington? Hi, my friends from Irvington. And then all the friends from Peralta. Hi, my friends from Peralta and Niles. Hi, Niles friends. How about my at Maple? Hi, Maple friends and Dublin. Hi, Dublin friends. Welcome to um, our live sessions for the three to four and a half year old. So today we have a lot of fun presentations for you. And today we have a new teacher, Miss Maria. She's joining us today. So don't forget to give Miss Maria a nice welcoming welcome. Hello. Hi, friends. How are you guys? Okay. So let's do a quick calendar today. Okay. So do you guys remember what month it is? I can't hear you. Did you say, is it March? I don't think so. Yeah, it is April. You guys got me there. It is April. What day is it today? It is, what number is that? The 17th. Can everyone say 17th? And what year is it? 2020. That's right. So let's say it together. Today is April 17th. 
2020. Now, what day of the week is it? Is it finally Friday? That's right, today is Friday. What was yesterday? Do you guys remember? Yesterday is, did you say Thursday? I hear you, you guys said Thursday. And then what will tomorrow be? Saturday, that's right. So let's say it together, today is Friday, yesterday was Thursday, tomorrow will be Saturday. Okay, thank you my friend for joining us in our calendar. So let's hop over here and Miss Alice has a fun activity for you about colors. Okay. So all our worksheets, if mommy and daddy um, have not printed them out yet for you, it's on our remote learning website. So you can go on the remote learning website and scroll down or it's on the one of the sides of the screen. And you can they can click on the three to four and a half year old and they can always print these out before our live session. So there's two worksheets for you today for this presentation. So do you guys know Miss Alice loves the color of the rainbow? So you can see that Miss Alice has colors of the rainbow already laid out. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna sort colors and match them, okay? You can do it with any types of objects around the house that you find, your toys. There are you, today Miss Alice has some toys transportation that she will color match with you guys, okay? So let's see, what color is this my friends? Did you guys say red? That's right, it is red. So I'm gonna put it on the red one. Now, what color is this one? Is it yellow? That's right, you guys got it, it's yellow. So, do I put it here? No, do I put it here? Yes, so that goes there. Okay, now, what color is this one? It's purple. Now, let's see. No, I don't think so, that's not purple. That's not purple either. How about this one? No, pretty close. Is it this one? Yes, that's it. Okay, now let's see what other colors. How about this one? What color is this? Did you say green? What's another word for green um, that you can say in Spanish? Is it verde? That's right, it's verde. So let's see. There you go. Okay. Now, what color is this one? Can everyone tell me? Let's say it together. I'm going to count to three. We're going to say it together. Ready? One two, three, blue. So let's see, there you go, blue. Okay, now let's find an orange one. Now this might be a little hard because red and orange are kind of close together. So that's orange. Okay, so let's do one more and then Miss Alice will show you the worksheet, okay? So let's do red. I'm gonna do it in rainbow. Red, orange, Yellow, green, blue, and purple. Okay, so now let's look at the worksheet, okay? So the first one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna match the colors. So tell me where I should, what color this is? It's red. So where should my pencil go? Should I go to this one? This one? This one, this one, this one, or this one. Okay, I'm gonna move my finger. You're gonna tell me to stop, okay? When to stop? Did I hear you say stop? That's right, so we're gonna draw a line going from our red to our red. Okay, now let's do the next one. What color is this? Orange, okay? So my fingers are gonna go, and you're gonna tell me when to stop, ready? Stop, there you go. And let's do one more, okay. How about this color, what color is this? Blue, okay, so tell me why my finger should stop. Stop, there you go. And I just match the colors. There you go, and you can continue, okay. So now our next worksheet is color drawing. So what you do here is you can find objects around your house or you can um, just think of anything that's the color red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Let's see, let's see what, what is an object or what is something that's red? I'm gonna draw a strawberry. Is a strawberry red? Yes, it is. So let's see how Miss Alice's strawberry looks like. I think strawberries have some seeds too. 
Okay, and then I'm going to color it. I'm going to color it red. There you go. Okay, let's do one more and then we'll get ready for the next presentation. Okay, what color do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to do orange, yellow, green, blue, or purple? Just shout it out and Miss Alice will see if she can hear you. I can't hear you. What color do you want me to do? Did you say yellow? No, I don't think I heard yellow. How about, did you say green? I heard green. So let's do green. What, hmm, what thing is it green? What's green? I think a leaf. Should we draw a leaf? Okay, let's draw a leaf. A leaf is green. What else is green? You guys can always put it on our comment box and let us know what you think is colored green. Okay, so you guys can finish this and when you're done, you can always take, ask mommy and daddy to take a picture of it and post it on our comment box so Miss Alice and all your other teachers can see what you did at home. Okay, so now let's clean up and then next we have Miss Maria with the next presentation. Thank you for joining me. doing good this Friday. This is Miss Maria um, and I will be helping you guys with math. Um, I have a few worksheets for you guys and uh, let's get started. So what do we have here? Here we have some ladybugs and let's see. So um, on this worksheet is asking us to count the ladybugs. Let's try the first box. So let's see how many ladybugs do you guys see? Let's count them. One, two, three. Three ladybugs. Now, do you see the number three down here? If you see the number three, go ahead and circle it. Let's see. I think this is the number three, correct? So we're going to circle this number three for our three ladybugs. You guys want to do the second box? Let's see. Let's count the ladybugs. One ladybug, two, three, four, five, six ladybugs. Where's number six? Is this number six? No. What about this one? Okay, let's go ahead and circle number six. We have six ladybugs. And you can go ahead and do the rest of the boxes. Okay, now let's move on to the next worksheet. And this is connect the dots. So have you guys ever done connect the dots? Let's see. If not, I can go ahead and help you. Um, so we're gonna start with number one. Can you find number one? I think this one right here is number one. And we're gonna go ahead and connect number one, two. What comes after number one? Let's see, number two. So we're gonna connect the dot to number two. And then what comes after two? Three. Three comes after two. We're going to connect the line to number three. And then we're going to continue doing this until we are done connecting the dots. What comes after three? Four. Then five. Six. And seven. What does that look like? I think it looks like a leaf. And now can you guys count how many ladybugs we have inside the leaf? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven uh, ladybugs. So we're going to go ahead and write number seven down here. Okay, and then you can color the leaf to make it look really pretty. So the next worksheet we have, um, let's see. This is my favorite. You have to um, finish the pattern. So let's see. We can do, we'll do the first one and then we'll, I'll let you do the last two. So what is, what color is this? This is red, yellow, red, yellow, 
What comes after yellow? Let's see. Red, yellow, red, yellow, red. So we're going to color that ladybug red. Uh, is this? Okay, we're going to color it red. Nice. Okay, so then what comes after red? I think it's yellow. So let's color the next ladybug yellow. Okay, let's say the pattern again. It's red, yellow, red, yellow, red, and yellow. So now you can do the other two patterns. Okay, and then the next worksheet is, uh, let's see. Oh, it's wanting you to draw a flower. Do you know how to draw a flower? If not, I can go ahead and help you. Um, but first is asking, how many flowers do you see here? Did you say two flowers? Let's count them. Or is it three flowers? Let's see. One flower, two flowers, three flowers. So if you draw one more flower, let's see. If you draw one more flower, how many are we gonna have? So we can draw the leaf and then a circle. And then we can draw the petals. So now how many flowers do we have? One, two, three, four. We have four flowers. Okay, can you find the number four down here? Okay, let's count. I think this is one, two, three, four. So we are gonna circle the number four. And there you have it. Okay. And you need the help from a parent or you can cut it yourself. Um, we're going to cut the ladybugs down here and then we're going to paste them in the little jars. So if we have five ladybugs, we're going to put five ladybugs in here and seven ladybugs in here. Okay. And then for the next worksheet, oh, and we're all done with these worksheets. <laughs> so we're going to have Miss Alice. Uh, she's going to uh, do the, uh, the next presentation. Hi, my friends. Wasn't Miss Maria awesome? Hope you had a lot of fun. Um, so remember the songs that the song that we've been learning all week this week. Well, today is going to be our last time doing this song, but you can continue singing it. So when you when we do come back, you guys, we can sing it together. Wouldn't that be fun? We can have a dance party. We can sing that song together. All the song that we learn from this live viewing. So. Um, let's do it one more time, and then Miss Alice can introduce you or just let you know what song we might be singing next week. Okay, you guys ready? Okay, let's go! Spring is here, spring is here, how do you think I know? I just saw a bluebird, that is how I know. Spring is here, spring is here, how do you think we know? We just saw a bluebird, that is how we know. Do the bird walk and strut your thing, do the bird walk. And flap your wings, do the bird walk, do anything, and look around for another sign of spring. Spring is here, spring is here, how do you think I know? I just saw a bee, that is how I know. Spring is here, spring is here, how do you think we know? We just saw a bee, that is how we know. Do the bee walk, and strut your thing, do the bee walk. And flap your wings, do the bee walk, do anything, and look around for another sign of spring. I can't hear you, let's sing a little bit louder. Spring is here, spring is here, how do you think I know? I just saw a ladybug, that is how I know. Spring is here, spring is here, how do you think we know? We just saw a ladybug, that is how we know. Do the ladybug walk? 
and strut your thing. Do the ladybug walk and flap your wings. Do the ladybug walk. Do anything and look around for another sign of spring. Oh, I think you guys are singing a little bit too loud. Let's do it a little bit quieter. You ready? Spring is here. Spring is here. How do you think I know? I just saw a butterfly. That is how I know. Spring is here, spring is here, how do you think we know? We just saw a butterfly, that is how we know. Do the butterfly walk and strut your thing. Do the butterfly walk and flap your wings. Do the butterfly walk, do anything, and look around for another sign of spring. No, I think I like to hear you guys a little bit more, so let's do it a little bit louder. Spring is here, spring is here, how do you think I know? I just saw a frog, that is how I know. Spring is here, spring is here, how do you think we know? We just saw a frog, and that is how we know. Do the frog hop, and strut your thing. Do the frog hop, bada bing. Do the frog hop, do anything, and look around for another sign of spring. <gasps> Wait, is it a... Fly? No, I see a mosquito. Oh, froggies, now let's stick out your tongue. You guys ready? Let's stick it out and try to catch the mosquito. Mm. Did we get it? Yeah, that was fun, was it? Thank you for singing with me. So next week we're gonna sing a new song and it's called Save the Planet. So it'll be posted online on our live website so you can practice. And we'll sing it together next week, okay? Awesome, thank you for joining. Okay, Miss Marie is gonna come with the next presentation. Hello friends, I'm back. So we are going to um, work on our MST sounds. So we have a worksheet here. And can you tell me what, uh, what is this little guy right here? Did you say a mouse? If you said a mouse, good job. What about, uh, what does the mouse sound, uh, what does the mouse letter start with? Is it a m mouse? Is it an m mouse? Good. So we're going to write the letter m here. So we go up, down, up, and down again. What about this little uh this little guy right here? Does this start with the letter m s or t? Mm, I don't think, oh, well, maybe it starts with a M for m moon. So we're going to draw another M here. We're going to start up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, and then you can work on the rest of our little guys right here. So we have a sock, we have a t tiger, we have a t turtle, we have a sun, m milk, and we have a t toothbrush. So just go ahead and fill out the rest of the letters. Let's see. And then the next worksheet is going to be this little guy right here. And parents, um, if you would like to go, uh, go ahead and sign into um, myhandwritingworksheets.com and just go ahead and print out uh, this worksheet. And then it'll it will allow you to uh, enter whatever um, whatever words you would like for your child to uh, write, and it will look something like this. And then they can go ahead and trace the letters. Or if you would like, you can also print a sheet like this. And if you have a highlighter or anything that um, anything that's very light, you can go ahead and write their name or anything that you would like for them to practice. And they will just go ahead and trace. Um, they will trace what you write, okay? And then let's see, I also have another little um, project for you guys. Let's see, can you guys tell me what this is? Is this a t tiger? Yes, it is. And what letter does t tiger start with? Is it a t, t? Yes, it is. So we're gonna put Mr. Tiger right here. And then what is this one right here? Is this a moose? What letter does the moose start with? M, m, moose, it starts with an M. 
Okay. And then what about this one right here? This little guy here is a t truck. Can you say truck? What does the truck start with? What letter does the truck start with? Is it a t, t, t? Yes, it is. So we'll put truck right here. And this is, what is this right here? This is a motorcycle. Can you say motorcycle? What, do, what letter does the motorcycle start with? M, m, motorcycle. Good job. Okay, and what about this cute little purple star? What does the star begin with? The letter s, s, s star. Okay, and we have, what is this? Does this little guy go in the water? Yes, it does. And it's called a ship. A ship starts with the letter S. So ship will go right next to the star. And then we have here, what is this? Where can you find this little guy? It can be at the zoo or it can also be in the jungle. And this little guy is a monkey and it starts with the letter M, 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 monkey. Let's see, this one will go here. And our last little friend is a turtle. This little turtle goes underwater and the turtle starts with the letter T, 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 turtle. Okay. And these are some objects that start with the letters M, S, and T. I hope you had fun with these uh, with this pro uh, project. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and have Miss Alice um, come with the next with our next project. Hi, my friends. Okay, so now we're gonna learn about an animal. Let's see if you guys know what animal this is. What animal is this? Maybe here's another picture. What animal is that? Did I hear you guys say kangaroo? That's right, it, this is a picture of a kangaroo. So today we're gonna learn about the different parts of the kangaroo. But first of all, let's, you tell me, what does a kangaroo, how does a kangaroo get around? Does it walk? Does it swim? Does it run? Does it dance? Oh, I know. Ms. Alice is so silly. It doesn't dance. How about, does it jump and hop? Can you guys show me how a kangaroo jumps and hops? Let me see it. Oh, those are great hops and jumps. I can see how high you guys are jumping. So let's learn about the different parts of the kangaroo, okay? So let's talk about something that you guys all know because a lot of animals that you've learned so far um, has it. Let's talk about this one. What is that? Did you say tail? That's right. So that kangaroo, that part of the kangaroo is its tail. The tail is very, very muscular and it helps the kangaroo stay balanced so it doesn't fall when it's jumping. And it supports the rest of the body because without a tail, a kangaroo might fall over. So the tail is very important because it helps it balance. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Let's go to, let's see, what is this right here? You can't really see it, but kangaroo has a pouch. And do you know what the pouch is for? The pouch is located on the girl kangaroo and it is where all the baby kangaroo stays. So it's nice and warm and protected. So that's where it is, the pouch. Let's go on to the next one. What do you think this part of the kangaroo is? Did you say thigh? Can you guys show me where your thigh is? Very nice, okay. So let's talk about a kangaroo's thigh. You can see that the kangaroo has two thighs for its legs, for its limb, and it supports the kangaroo so the kangaroo can jump as high as possible and jump away, jump to find food, um, jump to have some fun. Um, yeah, so that's the thigh. Next, we're gonna find the foot. Can you guys point to the foot? Do you guys see where the foot is? I think the foot is right here. There you go, so that's the kangaroo's foot. And the kangaroo's foot is very powerful because for a kangaroo to jump 
they have to land on their feet. So it has to be very strong and very powerful. And it also helps support the body. Can you can see the kangaroo has a big body, so the foot has to be strong to support it. Okay, so let's go next to the digits. Is the digits here? Is it here? Or is it here? It's right there. So that's the digits. And digits are another way of saying toes or fingers. Okay, so the digits, um, you kangaroos don't have a thumb and they're usually infused. So a kangaroo only has four digits. Okay, and they have claws on the end of it too. Okay, now let's go to claw. So this is where the kangaroo's claws are. They're like pointy, sharp, cornea structure they use to scratch and snatch things. And they help, you know, pick up food or pick up the baby kangaroo. Okay, now let's talk about the forelimb. So let's see where the forelimb is. The forelimb is it here? Is it right here? I think it's right there. So that's the kangaroo's forelimb. And at the end of the forelimb, it has five claws. And the forelimb is kind of like your arms, right? It helps you move around, helps you pick up things, um, and stuff like that. Okay, can you guys show me where your forelimbs are? Can you guys point to it? Yep, that's it, it's your arm. Okay, now let's do a snout. Where is the kangaroo snout? It's another another word for nose. Okay, so there you go. So that's the kangaroo snout, and it's a long part front portion of the head, having mainly a highly developed nose function. So it's where our nose is. That's where the kangaroo's nose is. It helps the kangaroo smell um, things around its environment, smell its food, to smell if the baby kangaroo is stinky or not. Okay, so let's do the next one. Let's do Pina. Pina, this is where the Pina is. It's the outer portion of the kangaroo's ear. And that helps the kangaroo like focus on the sounds, wherever the sound is coming from. It lets um, the kangaroo move its ears um, to capture any sound that they hear from the environment. Okay, now let's do the fur. Where do you think the fur is? Tell me when to stop. There you go, did you say stop right here? I think I heard you. So fur is like our skin. So a kangaroo has fur and it's hair that covers the body, mainly to maintain its body temperature so it doesn't get too cold or too hot. Um, and it just helps protect the kangaroo all around, okay? Now let's do the hind limb. Hind limb is another word for legs. Can you guys show me your legs? Yep, those are called hind limbs and those just, just to support the kangaroo's body. Next, we have kangaroo's eyes, and that's to help the kangaroo see. There you go. So you can always print these out on the remote learning and have your mom and dad help you guys label them. And that's the parts of the kangaroo. So I hope you guys enjoy our first week of live recording sessions. We as teachers had so much fun creating these activities and presentations for you. So we hope you guys enjoy them and we'll see you next week. Now let's pop over to see what Miss Sanju and Miss Kendra is doing for the four and a half to six year old. And thank you for joining us. Let's go see. Hi, Miss Kendra. Hello everyone. Welcome back over here. I hope you guys remember me. Miss Kendra, it's nice to see you guys again. I missed you since yesterday for sure. Um, welcome to our four and a half to six year old age group. We're gonna start with the calendar today, okay? So first we're gonna sit down, everybody, relax. Okay, are you ready to start? Okay. Today is Friday, today is Friday, April 17th, April 17th, 2020, 2020, that is today, that is today. So today we got a lot to do. We're going to start over here with language, follow me. I'm going to sit down nicely because I don't want to fall over. I don't want to see anyone else fall over either. 
So we have so much language worksheets. So we're gonna get through this a little bit quickly, okay? So we're always gonna start with the name at the top, Miss Kendra. Okay, so today, this first worksheet is all about our T, our T sounds. Okay, let's read the directions here. T begins with the sound of T. Circle each picture whose name begins with the sound of T. So let's start doing this together and then finish later, okay? Let's look at number one here. This is something that spins. Do you remember what this is called? A top. That is a top. Does that start with T? Do you hear? T top. That's T. We're going to circle that one. If you move on to the next one, I see a sink. A sink. No T there, so we're not going to circle that one. Next one, number three. That looks like a bunch of toys. T toys. T that's going to get a circle. That has a T. Toys. Okay, you finish the rest. There's 12 problems there. Okay, we're going to flip over to the next side. Still, we're talking about T stills here, right here. Okay, we can go to the first one again. And we're going to say the name of each picture if it begins with the sound of T. Print T on the line, then trace the whole word. Okay, this is, get your pencils ready. We're gonna go to number one. This is a top, top with a T. We're gonna write a T and trace the next letters. Let's see about the next one, okay? Number two, this is a tire, T tire. All right, let's add our T and trace the next letters. All right, and don't forget to finish all of these. And if you know the right letter, you can put it the right letter, okay? Next, we have so many of these cards. Okay, you can find these in your home after you print them out or on the computer, okay? There are little tiny numbers at the top of the corner there, and that's going to tell you which one goes first. So this one is number one. The A, B is number one. So when you have your writing paper ready, we can start writing these words. Okay, we're going to put our name up at the top again, Miss Kendra. We can start with our letters up top. Okay, we have A and B. This is going to be our AB family. Okay, so the first word I see is K -a -b -k -a -b cab. Cab. I'm going to write cab. C. A, B, K, A, B. Okay, and we can do a lot of practice with these. Don't forget, you can do all of these, okay? The next one I'm gonna try is D, A, B, Dab. I'm gonna write Dab, okay? We can fill it all up and get all the words on there, okay? That's the next one. We have so much language worksheets for you because you are gonna be so good at this, ready to come back to school, okay? The next couple of worksheets need to be covered, the answer, need the answer key to be covered still, okay? So the first one we're starting with here has the pan on top. M, I, N, ant. Who's in the pan there? Is that a, what? Is that an ant? I believe it is. Yes, that's an ant. Okay. Am I in a p a n? Am I in a pan? Who's, is that ant in a pan? I do, I do think so. Yes, he is. 
I am an in a p a. What is in the pan? I am an in the pan. I am an ant. Ant. Ant in the pan. Okay, some of these are different. When we turn them over, don't forget there's two sides on a lot of these papers, okay? Let's see here. Sam S -M has a t tan. What color is tan? Sam has a tan k -t cat or at hat. Sam has a tan hat. Okay, we're going to finish that paper off. Next, we're going to try another one that's a little bit different here. This one is the page with the man on the couch. We're going to sound some more sounds out. This m -e -m is, what is this man doing? Let's sound out these longer words, okay? Don't forget I-N-G, ing. That sound, all those letters together sound like ing. So n, a, p, ing. Or p, a, n, t, ing. Is he napping or panting? That man looks like he's napping. If you need help from mom and dad, that's okay. This is really good practice, okay? If you don't know every single one, that's okay. You can also, you can always print them out again and try again, okay? We also have our weekly handwriting with some cursive. This week it's gonna be a letter D. Write my name up top again, Miss Kendra, and we're gonna go around for a letter D and start again for the next one and again. That was wrong. Try it again. See, Ms. Kendra makes mistakes, and you go again and try again. Okay? That is our cursive. Last but not least for language is our book report. Okay? Don't forget, we want to read a book, at least one book every day. And we want to think about the book. Who wrote that book? Do we like that one? Favorite word? A favorite? Draw something from the book your favorite part okay so we're gonna come on over here to math but before we get started on math i think i need to take a few deep breaths and a little bit of stretching okay so first i'm going to take three deep breaths okay ready one Okay, and I'm going to stretch my neck a little bit, okay? So I'm going to count to ten. I'm going to stretch it on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And when we go to the other side, we're going to count to a hundred by ten. So are you ready for this? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. 70, 80, 90, 100. Fantastic. All right, come on over here. We're going to do some addition. All right. I know we're doing a lot of addition, but addition is really important. You really need to know this stuff for fun stuff and for important stuff. Let's think about basketball. Who likes to play basketball? Bouncing the ball, shooting some hoops, having a lot of fun. I kind of miss that right now. But let's see, we need five players on a team. If we only have three players ready, we're gonna need to get an additional, how many? We need five, right? We need five players, but we only have three. We need one, two, three, four, five, right? Three, plus two equals our five. Okay, this is why it's really important. We need to know these things. 
Okay, let's take a look at some of the problems that we had on our worksheet from today. Okay, very important again here is to put your name up top. This one's for Miss Kendra. Okay, let's start with, let's do the first problem here and we'll do a problem down here as well. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Three plus two. Let's get our three toys, our plus and two. One, two more. Let's see, how much does this equal here? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Three plus two equals five. Fantastic, just like our basketball problem. One, two, three, and two more. Four and five. Five. Fantastic. Let's go to our next problem here. Okay, one more. Let's see. Eight plus three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus three. One, two, three. All right. We got to put these together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus nine, ten, eleven. Eight plus three equals eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fantastic, eight plus three equals 11. You guys did great, and I'm sure you guys can finish that up all by yourselves if you need help counting. Don't forget to use your counters, okay? So I have a really awesome song for you guys. We, all of, our, all of your teachers here miss you so much, but we would do anything for you. And we have a special song I want you to sing with me, okay? Some of you might know this song. Mom and dad might know this song, okay? It's called Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Okay, are you ready for this? All right. Okay, you're gonna move your hands a little bit for this, okay? Follow me. And don't forget, rewind and sing it again for mom and dad, okay? All right. Ain't No Mountain High Ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide enough, baby. If you need me, call me, no matter where you are, no matter how far. Don't worry, baby, just call my name. I'll be there in a hurry. You don't have to worry, cause baby, there ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to keep me from getting to you, babe. Okay, we miss you so much. There's nothing that's gonna keep us from getting to you, okay? We have a few more things. Some cultural. Follow me back over here to the table. We're gonna do some review. We're gonna look a little bit, we're gonna look at Australia a little bit again, okay? So, I think you guys will remember these territories. This here, first one we remember is Western Australia. Then we have a Northern Territory, Queensland, South Australia, New South Wales, and Victoria. This is in a different order today. Do we remember what the capital city of Australia is? Canberra. Okay, that's an important city. It's the capital where all the government is. <laughs> there is also Sydney. The Sydney Opera House is very a nice place to visit if you're gonna visit. We also have the beautiful beaches of Brisbane. North of that, we're gonna find the Great Barrier Reef with all the tropical fish. This is where the biggest 
reef is found in the whole world, which is pretty amazing. Australia has a lot of wildlife that you can't find anywhere else, including a lot of the marsupials you remember, right? Kangaroos, koala bears, wombats. Here's a picture of a wombat for you. It's a cute little guy, right? And here's a couple more pictures of some animals that we didn't talk about yet. This is an Australian dingo up here. And this is a Tasmanian devil, if anybody remembers that cartoon. The wombat again. And we have these marsupials in America here. A possum. You ever seen those in your backyard? Just a, you hear dogs barking at possums at night? In uh, your worksheets that you can find online, we have another worksheet called the Animals of Australia. This one is definitely looking for some color. Go ahead and color this page, but we can see the animals on here. We have the lyre bird that we heard about yesterday. That's a beautiful bird that has beautiful long feathers. Do we know another bird in America like that? That has beautiful big feathers? Maybe the peacock? Okay, and again in Australia we have koala, a kangaroo, and it's baby Joey, a black swan, and the duck-billed platypus. How about that? Go ahead and color these all nice, okay? And last but not least, we have some Spanish. Okay, I'm really excited to share some Spanish with you guys if you don't already know all these colors. Okay, first is Rojo. Okay, Rojo is what? We're gonna need some of these colors here. Let's see if Miss Kendra can find a pencil. Rojo, a rojo pencil, red, rojo. So when you have this at home, you can take your coloring and coloring it all the way in, up and down, all the way in from, oh, we're gonna start again from left to right, okay? And next one is amarillo, amarillo. That is yellow, okay? I'm gonna take yellow, can color in all the way. Okay, you at home you can color in everything, okay? And the next one we have, naranja, naranja. That is orange. You can take your orange pencil or marker or crayon, whatever you have, all the way, okay? Next one is verde. Verde is green. Can do green for our verde. I know this is a lot of colors, but you guys can listen to this again and practice and practice, okay? Our next color is azul. Azul is blue. Can color that one in all the way there. Next one is morado. Morado. This is purple. Morado is purple. Can color those all the way in there. Next one is rosa, rosa, pink. Pink is rosa. Okay, this one's tricky here, blanco. Blanco is white. Do we need to color this one in? No, if you have a white pencil, okay. You can use a white pencil. Next one is negro. Negro is black. We can color that one in. Don't forget, you get to color everything. And marron. Marron is brown. And brown, that's not the most brown, but that's brown here. Brown, there we go. Brown is also, you can call brown cafe. You can also say cafe. Last but not least is gray. Grease. Grease is gray. I don't have a gray pencil, so I'm going to use a regular school pencil. 
this regular school pencil. And that'll work just fine. Now, Miss Anna from school gave a presentation on our Facebook Live on Wednesday, and she presented this project and had everyone cut each color out, twist it up, and glue it onto another page. So you guys are more than welcome to make a, a fun project out of this. I just want to say thank you so much for joining us. This was so much fun. I will, I will see you guys next week. And thank you so much for you guys trying so hard. We're so proud of you. You've done so much hard work. Thank you, parents, for joining us. Thank you to all the first responders, all the people on the front line. Thank you, thank you. And I can't wait to see you guys next week. Thank you, thank you.